hey, it's me again. It's been like two months since the first devlog of my football game, so welcome to the second part of it. Just to recap, I'm making a online football game, and currently we have a bean, a ball, and a lot of bugs. In this episode, I'm going to create the multiplayer system using Photon Pun 2. Making a multiplayer game is not an easy task since there are so many things to learn about. That's why I chose Photon Pun because it can be easily set up inside Unity. I also found a series by Platon Pros about Photon and it helps me a whole ton. Okay, so I made this test menu screen. You can enter a nickname and connect to the server. Then you can create a room or join an existing room. After that, the names of the players will be displayed and the host can start the game. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Enough of the multiplayer part for now. I've noticed that our current gameplay is quite boring, so the next thing to do is to make the game more interesting. First, I made the power-up spawn randomly around the map. Um, I might have made the spawn rate too high, and now the power-ups are literally everywhere. I also replaced the text on the power-up with its own icon to make it easier to know which is which. Well, except the strength boost, since no one cares about it anyway. To know what power-ups you are currently having, I made the icon pops up on the corner of the screen. Here is the new power-up variant I've just added, the double jump. And when combined with the jump boost, this is just so OP and you can jump large distance. So I might consider nerfing this in the future. There's now this charge bar that goes up when you press shift. And when you release the shift button, it will add a force to the ball. Depending on how much the bar is charged, the kick force would be stronger. So this is the current football view. It looks kinda empty and tasteless. So to spice things up, I added walls and fences all around the place. And now you can't just shoot a ball in a straight line to the goal. I think it adds a bit of strategy to the game. To make it look more like a stadium, I've created this observation area for the spectators. In the game, they will be spawned randomly on the seats and have random animations to look like they are cheering the player. I think it makes the scene so much more alive now. I learned this trick from Potty Pants, who is developing his boxing game Punch a Bunch. I also replaced the gold model with a new one because, well, I mean, I don't even have to explain it, just look at the current one. Bruh. Okay, it's time to actually implement the multiplayer system into the game scene. Fortunately, Photon can handle most of the complicated networking stuffs, and when it comes to spawning objects or syncing the positions of the players in the scene, it's rather simple. I've underestimated how hard making a multiplayer game is. Nothing is working, there is so much bugs, the players aren't spawning correctly, the physics is not working at all, especially the ball, it just glitches every time and I can't seem to fix it. It seems that the physics only works on the person who hosted the game and doesn't work for all the others. Eventually, I have came to a solution that is Pun RPC, which stands for Remote Procedure Call. What does it mean? I have no idea. 
but it can call a function on a different client's device. So I can just send a RPC to trigger the kickball action on the host's device and it will calculate the velocity of the ball for the other clients. And this is the end result. The process was really challenging and time consuming but I think that everything came out pretty nicely and we now have a sort of playable game. As you can see, both players can move freely around the scene and interact with the balls as well as the power-ups. Alright, that marks the end of this episode. I really appreciate that you are still watching until this point. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel. That would help me so much. Also, my summer holiday ended and I'm back to school. Yay! So it's really hard to keep up with the schedule of producing new videos. Anyway, stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next devlog. Thanks for watching and goodbye!